Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Welcome to Street Smart Swing, Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos I produce. And if you wanna get access to over 25 of my newest online swing dance lessons below, uh, check out that link in the descriptions. A lot of fun. Now, we're gonna be taking a look today at an advanced Jack and Jill finals at Retro Weekend 2022. Now, I'm really passionate about the advanced level competition. And the reason is, it's because these dancers are not quite at the invitational level when it comes to self-discipline, but they have a tremendous amount of heart. And I think their heart surpasses that of levels that are higher. These dancers have something to prove, and uh, I wanna see exactly what they do on the social dance floor and give you guys my thoughts right after this. All right. Don't blink, don't breathe, or you're gonna miss something. I'll just feel it. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Let's go. Okay, I see a few familiar faces. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be good. Oh, I can already tell. People are holding back, but yet they're not really holding back. They're still kind of getting in front of that camera and showing us like, hey, you better be ready to watch me. This is gonna be a good one. Let's see, here we go. already know what's what's uh what's in store i got my eyes on a, about two couples right now um and i think i'm really gonna bring it make it competitive Whew, that was good good warm up come on audience get hyped i see one lady clapping okay there we go all right Go. It looks like all the dancers are flourishing at this tempo. Um, this is pretty good. But I'm looking for something different. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. This, the fast tempo like this, you can kind of hide. Um, and there, it's really hard to, to show nuance. All right, here we go. Okay, yes, sir. All right. I like the structuring of this couple's uh, organization. They have great timing. Yes, explosive swing outs. Yes! Love that. See, I just love when they, sometimes couples are just really good at their timing. Now, I don't like this. This is just two guys dancing together and everybody automatically starts screaming. I don't like that. I don't like that at all.
That's what actually takes the integrity away from what we're doing. You see, it becomes gimmicky, guys. All right, third couple. Yes, nice root. Yes, that was good. The connection of this couple, how tight their their elasticity is. Let's see what they do with it. Let's see what they do with it. Yes, good swing outs. Okay. Like that hair flip. I saw that. Looks good. All right, round two. Yes, good swing outs. Yes. Okay, okay. So far, guys, this is for me. This is between two couples, and and it's it's tight for two reasons, and I want to talk about those reasons here in a little bit. But the, the main thing I like is one of the things that this couple is doing, and then there's another thing I like that the other couple is doing. So we'll have to get into those nuanced reasons of why I would have to make a decision a certain way. Yes. Yes, good control, guys. Swing out! Yes! Yes! I hear you back there. See, let's see what's up, guys. Oh, this was good. This was good. Ah. Let's see if there's anything else happening. Doesn't look like it. I think they're lining up. Maybe they're gonna do something else. Yes, they're going again. Is it really over though? 
Is it really over? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> they're going to they're going to keep it going. good let's talk about it this was fun guys this was fun man i gotta tell you i upon watching this i really 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 like one couple guys there was one couple that shined above everybody else and i just there were so many things that i liked about every couple but there were there were critical things that i had about every couple but this couple they didn't have as many critical things to point out I liked their fast tempo. I liked their slow tempo. I liked their timing. I liked their their self discipline and control. <sighs> so so good. So I I know the leader. His name is Alexi, but I'm not certain of this follower. So check it check it out when they first come out here. You can see that the tempo is fast, but they're not rushing. They're literally just like, okay, we're gonna play a little bit. We're gonna get our silly part out. We're gonna do a little basic stuff here. We're gonna show a little nuance, little tuck turn. Both of them are celebrating. And then you can see this little rotation and then the music picks up and they start to imitate what the music is doing. And then boom, explosions, incredible explosions of energy. I just love that. What a well-balanced presentation. Usually people just come straight out and they're just swinging out as hard as possible to the point you don't even pay attention to it anymore. You just kind of go on autopilot and they didn't do that. They didn't do that at all. And I even like their slow section. I, in fact, I enjoyed their slow section the better here. I got a chance to see more variety with like lifting the feet. I get a chance to see the follower do some cool footwork. Just the syncopations are all there. I just, all around, this couple was fantastic. And I wanted to see them dance a little bit more. I think um, a lot of times when the, when the competition is going forward and there's so many people moving in and out, you fall in love with a couple of couples and you just wish to be able to keep seeing them dance. Like they had a longer set. And I wanted to see them more. Now I gotta tell you guys, there's some things about this competition that I don't like. Number one, we have, if we say we respect Lindy Hop, if we say we love Lindy Hop, we can't simultaneously destroy anything that's come in the past. And I'm specifically talking about these two gentlemen here. There's two guys that are dancing together. I have no problem with that. The problem I have is that this is called a Jack and Jill competition. Now, I didn't make up that category. The people who came before me made that category up. And the people who made up Lindy Hop have established what the dance is fundamentally. So if we say, yeah, I love Lindy Hop. This is awesome. I respect the culture. You first have to at least do the thing the way they say to do it. Now, if you're like, hey, I want to do girl, girl, guy, guy. No problem with that. Create a new category. Some people have actually done that. Now, they may not have done it for the reasons I think they should be doing it but they made a category. Some call luck of the draw, some call mix and match. But unfortunately, when many of them do their competition, they just end up doing a traditional Jack and Jill, which again implies that there's something wrong with Lindy Hop. They feel that it just needs to be changed. So instead of just not doing it, they go ahead and appropriate whatever they want. And that attitude implies that we are more superior than the people who actually made the dance. And in a way, we're indirectly saying that they made something that's bad. And we're, we like it, but we actually don't respect it. Our actions should say that we respect the foundation in such a way where I'm not elevating my preference as the new standard or above the very thing I didn't create. So guys, let's be careful. I'm very, very open-minded, love all kinds of people. But if you say you love Lindy Hop and respect it, you gotta show me you respect it. I'm learning jujitsu right now. I just got my blue belt, super excited about it. I'm coming in fired up. I got all these great ideas, but I can't just go, hey, 
forget everything that they've done in the past. I'm going to do my own thing. And if you don't let me, you know, I'm going to be upset and call you names. I don't do that. I, I come in respectfully humbling myself to do the art. So I encourage you guys to do that. Be sensitive to it. Now, people will say, hey, my scene does this. My other scene does this. The reason I do it is because I saw these guys on a video that's black and white. So therefore I can do it. They didn't create it either, guys. So anything, anytime we pull from history, we have to be cognizant of the fact that those people, if they're not the original dancers, they didn't create it either. And they were either adding value or they were taking away things that came before them for selfish reasons, for reasons we don't even know. But we want to be very, very careful. Or we end up saying, hey, we can just do whatever we want. And we really can. So if, if we wanna just do this, then therefore we can do anything. I can't judge competitions anymore because there is no clear standard for anything. And no one can be upset about anything because everything goes. And I don't think you guys really want that either. So that's my two cents on the two guys. The other couple. There's another couple that I really liked. I just wanted to see so much more. Is this couple right here? So when they come out here, I'm, I'm initially enamored by their posture. You can see their posture and I just love how their bodies are moving together. Everything is seamless, but I can't really see their personality. I feel like their second set should have been their first set. I felt like this was an issue of mixing. <laughs> they could have just had a better mix it would have been more powerful. And yeah, when they come out on the second set, they come straight out swinging out. And I feel like, man, this is so powerful. This right here really should have been their first set in order to let me see a little bit more about who they are before they do a lot of irregular shapes. And of course, that set was a little bit shorter than the second set, but still, that was the part that kind of took me out of it. I felt like it just should have been swapped. I felt I liked their dancing the most, but I have to respect Alexi and his partner because they had the, the things that I look for, the timing they had, they had the control and they, they had some creativity that was there, but I don't feel like my first place winner's control was as strong as my second place winner. And that's, that's pretty crazy how that works out. And it's unfortunate, but I really wanted them to be my first, but it, it was still kind of a a letdown. So now my favorite move out of the entire competition, there was a couple, he was wearing a blue suit and she had the uh, like kind of a rust colored brown shirt. When they come out, I really love uh, their, his Charleston sequence. I'm not, I'm not sure if he originally made that up. I love that. You could just see them coming out and doing their movements here. And when they come through, boom, shoots through. I, yeah, it's just all together really really cool that was that was the move that i liked i'm always looking for the move and uh i would say that's it that was that was the move that really stood out to me now guys again great competition all of you guys really brought it i appreciate when people really try not just be in an advanced category and perform in front of the same people and expect people to clap because they know who you are that's kind of like fast food, right? We don't wanna make our performances cheap or make people get so used to us where we stop working on our craft. We have to keep pushing and pushing the art forward. So thank you guys for doing that. I really felt like this group was, were, was trying. Now the audience wasn't clapping as much. There was like one girl clapping basically. A few people were clapping, not just one, I'm exaggerating. But I just felt like if the audience was involved just a little bit more, the, the level of the intensity could have risen up. Um, anyway, what did you guys think about my top two people? What did you like best about them? They were my favorites for the reasons that I detailed, but I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure that you're respectful. These are real people, guys. This is their dance, this is their art, their personality. So be positive, you can be constructive, but still be positive. Look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section. Take care.